Good afternoon, YouTube. Man, uncut, unedited. Camera shaking, everything. Fuck it. So, anyway, folks, uh, welcome back to Fat Cat Collections. Really gonna try to make this a shorter video, like under an hour, I promise. You guys know I love to talk to you guys. I love to share these cool products with you folks on YouTube. So, for the subs, for anybody stumbling across the channel, uh, you know, I always feature all different kinds of stuff, and this channel is not really just, you know, about men's fashion. Although, you know, I, I, I always want to make sure when I, I love to share stuff with you guys, right? You get it. And when I get, you know, I, I love to try to look my best, right? And nothing feels better. I remember, here's where we're going to ramble on for a while. I remember when I was younger and we would always like go out to the mall, do the mall cruise, you know, meet chicks, do all that kind of stuff and just enjoy shopping with the boys, picking up a new outfit for the weekend and hitting the club, right? As we age, we don't do that stuff anymore, right? But you know, it's still... I still always take pride in the way that I look. I never leave the house without combing my hair. I feel like every opportunity that you're, you know, out in public, you should really present yourself and look your best, right? That doesn't mean that I think I'm the best looking guy in the world. That doesn't mean that I think I'm number one. I'm not an over egotistical uh, narcissist like many of the people we have on YouTube. What I like to do is to share this product that ultimately makes me happy that I like. This may not be your style. And today we're talking about this awesome, inexpensive Timu fur coat. Of course, this isn't going to be for everybody. Absolutely. You should always buy and wear what makes you feel confident and makes you feel good. You know, life can throw us a lot of curveballs and there's going to be times where, you know, it's hard and we're going to have ups and downs. And if you can just ultimately feel good about yourself, it really makes, um, I don't know, it just makes life better. There's a lot of people who are very miserable out there walking around, hating on people and just don't feel good. And remember, it, it doesn't take... It, how you present yourself, it says a lot about the kind of person you are, and take pride in your appearance. I'm not saying, you know, that you have to, you know, be dressed to impress every single moment of every single day, to each their own, absolutely, but I do feel like there is some self-worth in taking pride in your appearance, right? So, with that being said, there's lots of affordable options out there, and fur may not be your thing, but it is just amazing to me uh, the amount of quality you get for $35 nowadays. I always like to make the argument when people say, when it comes to watches, and I'm sorry, I always bring up watches, because it's a really good example of what of how not to judge products, right? People think you need to spend $10,000 to get a quality watch. It's just not the case. Modern manufacturing, modern machining, the technology in producing items and clothing and, and, and electronics and all this these great things we have just at our fingertips nowadays, you, you don't have to spend a lot of money. You can get amazing quality. So again, this isn't going to be for everybody. This is a fur coat I picked up off of, uh, again, Timu. Uh, some folks uh, will say, oh, Timu is just a bunch of Chinese crap. I don't know where your head's at. Obviously, if you feel that you've never shopped on Timu. No, I'm not saying that every single thing on Timu, I'm not putting a guarantee out there, saying that everything you're gonna get, you're gonna be happy with. That's part of you being an adult and being a smart consumer and shopper. Make your own decision. If you buy something that sucks, hey, you know, that it is what it is. This, this happens to all of us. It's happened to me as well, right? So, with this jacket, I am so impressed at the quality you get. For, I don't know how they can make any kind of money selling this for $35. Now, fur, again, is not, fur is kind of pimp, right? Like, you, it's not going to be for everybody, right? I mean, it's just, it's just my personality. I like this kind of stuff, <laughs> even at my age. But it's still a lot of fun. And I think a, j a jacket like this um, is very adaptable. Like, you can really dress this up and you can really dress this down. This is one of the items, though, I will say with jeans, it is a little dressy, but I still rock it. I still love it. It is an awesome coat. And I just happened to be browsing through Timu one day. I saw this jacket, and I was like, no way when I get that, that's going to that's gonna look as nice to picture. Like, because a lot of times you do have to be careful, depending on where you buy. I know eBay, uh, I, I tell you, I'm always shopping for leather jackets, and when I go to eBay, one when I give you guys this advice too, when you are shopping for stuff like that, when you see that those items come from India... Pakistan, especially leather goods, make sure before you buy that you reach out to the seller and say, and just say, hey, is this the actual picture of the jacket you're going to send? A lot of times with these companies, they basically just take a, you know, a high-end leather jacket, a, a, a super luxury brand, maybe a guy on the runway, and they're basically going to duplicate that by the picture. So, um, you know, make sure that you're, you're actually are getting what they're selling. And a lot of times in my experience, I'll still buy jackets off eBay. I'll still, you know, take the risk sometimes with, a, you know, a jacket from in, India or Pakistan. They're still fine. Don't get me wrong. But, 
you want to make sure the seller sells you the actual picture because sometimes even though they're nice, they are different. So with this, I was like, there's no way this is gonna be the same jacket for $35. And I can tell you, this is absolutely incredible. If you wanna go pimping, baby, and rock some fur, again, this jacket you can wear. Again, it, it is pretty dressy with jeans, but you can still rock it. I think this would look, um, I think a little more, um, again, don't get me wrong, I still wear it, but I think with black jeans, this, this would, you know, it's, it's a little more of a dressier type. So what do you get here? So you get some kind of fur. I don't know what this is made out of, but I can tell you that, you know, my grandmother growing up, I remember as a kid, she had some fur coats and she had some faux fur coats and those were passed down to my sister. And of course she has some real fur coats. I don't know what kind of fur, you know, that was a different time. I know fur is really looked down upon nowadays, uh, you know, by animal rights activists. And, and I totally get that. This isn't, this argument, this video isn't to argue whether you think, uh, you know, that somebody should or shouldn't, you know, we're all uh, individuals. Ultimately, we're, if you if you feel, if you are against animal hides and, and meat, that's for you, I'm, you're not gonna change my mind again. That, that's, a, that's not an argument for this video. But I will state that if you are a person who likes the way that fur looks, this is really, to me, the quality of this jacket, and I know you're not gonna find all different kinds of jackets, and I can't speak for every single jacket that's a fur type on Timu or, or online, but for, for the way this feels and the quality you're getting, I don't see the real reason to ever buy a real fur jacket. Um, again, going back to those jackets you, my grandmother had, you can feel the difference at that time with the fur. Like, it doesn't feel silky when you feel the genuine fur compared to the fake. Like, it's a noticeable difference. It just feels fake. Uh, same thing I always talk about when it comes to snake python jackets and snakeskin leather jackets. I have yet to find a faux jacket that really duplicates uh, what you get from an actual snake hide. So, uh, check out my other video on the jacket I just got. Pretty awesome. But still, that doesn't mean that I don't, you know, I wouldn't buy a synthetic leather jacket. I have. I have one I'm going to review on the, on the uh, sofa back there that's a synthetic python. It's just, but it's just not the same. Uh, there is a, a night and day difference up close, left, and right. So, they're both nice, but there is a difference. With something like this, you really, I, I could not tell the difference. I don't know what this is meant to simulate, but it is quite incredible. All the fur around the neck, all the fur, it almost feels like mink. It is super soft. It has this silky smoothness to it that I, I've just never felt before in a fake jacket. And this, I tell you, I've worn this a few times, and every time somebody sees it and compliments it, they have to touch you. They're just like, ooh, this is like, this is just like a sexy mink blanket, baby. You, I mean, I'm telling you, you're gonna, this may not be your thing, but you are going to get people touching you, right? People are going to want to touch you and feel this because it feels so friggin' incredible. Now, uh, so what else do you get here? Um, you know, I'm not going to go over the whole spiel. I, you know, I don't know about the stitching or all this stuff, but it is pretty incredible for $35. We have like a monogrammed interior, which I'm not really sure what it says. Uh, there are some sort of like ghost patterns on the inside. You do have this kind of like strange... Um, pocket here that's clear, almost like an identification pocket, which makes no sense to me. Uh, you have an interior pocket, and uh, just on the, let's see, on the on the left side, some faux leather, which honestly, like, you know, feels pretty real to me. It's got the texture, uh, the th even the threading. They could have just used, like, a standard black. They have this rainbow multicolor stitching down the inside of the jacket. Um, kind of, I don't know, even the cuffs are, like, velvety. I mean, <laughs> it is just, like, it's just unbelievable. And then you can see that this thing has like a checkerboard pattern. And I'm not sure how they duplicate that. I just don't know or how they make that. But there is sort of like, I don't know if, I just don't know how they do that. How they make this checkerboard pattern. Because when you look at it, there is no stitching on each quadrant. It's just like, I don't know if they've the direction of the uh, fibers is like, I can only assume that maybe they make, try to look at this, it almost seems like, gosh, I don't even know, to be honest with you, I don't know how they do that in order to get it to look like a checkerboard. Uh, when I kind of like move the fibers back and forth, they sort of change color, but I don't know, I just, I'm not going to spend too much time talking about it. It is pretty incredible. Uh, the zipper's high quality, I mean everything about this is quite amazing for $35, and I can tell you, if you're rocking this, like, 
I mean, it, it's again, it's not for everybody, but it is pretty incredible. It just blows me away that you can get something like this for this price. Uh, really spectacular. Now, some of you, some of you haters out there might be saying, well, there's a reason it's $35 because nobody's buying it. You know, that is subjective and you are entitled to your own opinion, but I can tell you, this is a super dressy jacket. You go ahead and throw this on with some black Wrangler dress slacks or really any dress slacks. Uh, it, you know, it is a super classy look. And if you look at the pictures on the Timu link, which is in the description, I think you're going to be motivated to want to buy this. It's dressy. It's super warm. I've worn this in the really cold weather we've had uh, for, you know, a couple weeks now. Um, and I'll tell you, for as thin as it is, like it's not a really heavy wintry coat, it's pretty warm. Um, only thing to be noted, I'm wearing the small, and you guys know I always tell you guys my size, my height, my weight. You know, I'm about, again, I'd say about 175 pounds today. Uh, I almost said seven inch wrist, that's irrelevant. Uh, about five foot eight. And, um, you know, I wore the small, and that's generally what I'll get in a jacket. Unless, of course, it's something with like a zip-out liner, uh, then I might go with a medium. But as far as the cut on this, this is absolutely perfect. I could have went with a medium, but I just felt like it wouldn't be as fitted. Um, the only thing about it, the sleeves are just a teeny bit short. I think another half inch would have been perfect. But again, your body just depends on, um, you know, your body size. If you are a taller dude than 5'8", you know, and again, arm length really, I guess it kind of correlates with height, but not really. I mean, it doesn't always have to. Uh, depending on your arm length, if you are a taller dude and really skinny, the sleeves might be a little short on you. It just really depends on your body. But, you know, you might want to up, upsize to the medium, but it is just an incredible coat, and I wanted to share it with you guys. I did this video, uh, I made, or I made a live feed the other day showcasing this, and I've already got several people being like, dude, that thing's incredible. And again, you might see this stuff on Timu, and a lot of times, brand, you know, like, channel channels, not channels, I mean, sites like that sometimes get a bad rap, just like DHK and Ally Express. I hear it all the time, oh, you know, you get ripped off by it from those sites. Not the case. Um, and I can tell you, Timu is a relatively new site for me. This is the only thing I've ever ordered off Timu. Um, it is similar to like Ally Express and, and DHK and those kinds of sites. But I'll tell you, you know, I am pretty impressed Again, with what you get for your money, the turnaround time, the shipping, uh, the whole process from you know order to tracking to delivery was was pretty seamless. So give them a go. Sometimes, again, folks might look at something like this and say, oh, you know, just like I do sometimes. There's no way that that's actually what you're going to get. There's no way that you get it. Because I'll tell you, there are sometimes I've ordered like a shirt on Ally Express and you get it and it is different, like I mentioned with the leather jackets, right? So you just got to be a smart shopper, but I can show you this looks exactly like the picture and uh, this is not going to be the last thing I order off Timu. So check it out. Let me know if I can help you guys in any way. I'm always here to help. Drop me a comment or drop me an email. Again, as always, links are in the description. You guys have a fantastic day. Look your best and take care.